Okay, we are at 2515, I'm sorry, 2715 Serenity Circle. Uh, five bedroom, three bath, um, concrete block home. Second story is wood frame. Typically on these places is a view of the neighborhood. It's on the backside development. You have city water and sewer. HOA is uh, $800 a year. Roof we'll have to check into. Looks like they did some repairs, which is a good thing actually. If you look up around the entryway, they've uh, repaired those shingles there, put new ones in there. But if I had to guess, it's probably 2006 ish, but we will verify. It's a nice landscaping. I've noticed a few people in here have had. Uh, campers in the driveway so probably it's not too restrictive on that you leave it there for a couple days if you leave it there too long you'll have to move it nice shade trees here this pool area Let's look at that later Nice view of the lake. We've got the long view of the lake, which is uh, preferred for most. They call them lakes down here, even though they're retention ponds. You see the type of fence you can have. You can also put the long trees, if you can see down there, you put the tall trees in front of the one Straight down there, got some tall hedges all around their house there. So that is obviously allowed. Way down the other end of the pond, there's also some tall hedges. It's um, just some tall hedges there. So you can't put tall hedges in here. Not as restrictive. This is the back side of the house. Screen enclosures, the pool is small. That's something you can always extend. I don't know what it costs to do something like that. But it's got a pool for now. The roof appears to be in decent shape. Because you got the corner of the pond here, you do have a, a wide side view here of uh, the lawn. Lawn maintenance is uh, your responsibility. You can get somebody for $60 a month or do it yourself. I guess it's a bonus pond. You can get rid of that if you don't want it, but you can, or you can stick it in the ground and make a uh, little pond for koi fish. Okay, let's go inside. There's a three car garage, so you have a wide parking area and storage. Entryway is screened in. It's nice though, on cool days you can open it up. The front and the back get a cross breeze going. <clears throat> you got a formal dining room here. And you walk in to the right. They do have cathedral ceilings in here. It keeps it nice and open. This is an office. Um, which you want to keep as an office instead of a bedroom because it does have opening into the other area. You could close that off and make it a bedroom if you wanted to. Living room area here. Kitchen. Lines is a white, seem to be in decent shape. Nice granite. Tall uppers, those are the 42 inch uppers for extra space. It does have a single deep sink. And your pantry. A lot of space in there for the pantry. Right, let's, let's go to the master suite. 
is over here. It's a split floor plan. All this furniture does come, so if you look at it, if you want it all gone, I can have it gone before before you uh, move down. You can just get it to a charity. But some of the pieces you might want to keep. There's a bed in pretty good size. This is a queen size bed, so it's definitely plenty of room for a king or a California king. It does have carpet in it, so you probably want to replace that. Closet, pretty good size. It's not custom, but you can make a lot of room by customizing this closet. You have a, a big double vanity. Sink here, plenty of mirrors in good shape. You do have a, a Roman soaking tub and a stand-up shower. And basic white and the uh, bathroom's in there. And you also have a uh, linen closet here too. Let's look at the bathroom again. Again, everything you see here stays with the price and we can always tell me what you want to keep and I'll get rid of the rest for you. And this does have a view to the pool. And we come over here. Arsenio's favorite room, the garage. Well, here's the laundry here. It does come with washer and dryer. Last serviced February of 2020. We'll find out what year it is, but you have plenty of room here in that three, third car garage. It looks like they made some storage there. And this uh, hot water heater. Large hot water heater, but it appears that a little rust there may need to be replaced in uh, another three four years this goes out to the back to where that pond was nice workbench there bike exercise bike or treadmill i guess all your hurricane shutters are here Therefore, they're not impact windows. You do have the shutters to come with it. AC is. Oh, I can't see. Let's back a lot to figure out right now what year that is. There's a tag there. I just can't see it. And it does have this extra system here. It purifies the air as it goes out. Uh, so that's a nice additive, especially for allergies. Come over here. We've got uh, one bedroom here. It's close to the bathroom. It's got one bedroom here. It's a pretty good size. It's got some good size furniture in there. There's a small closet there. This is the uh, bathroom that goes out to the pool deck. It's a uh, single vanity. Full shower with the tub. This does go out to the pool. So come out to the pool here. The stucco, I didn't see any cracks in the stucco going around, so it's uh, all in good shape. I think the agent mentioned they recently painted the outside. Here's your pool here. It's deep. It does have a shallow end, but it is deep. Not much of a swimming area, but 
if you ever went to the pluck part where you needed to uh, resurface it because it does look like it's a little got some stains on it but there's no leak so it's a good shape so if you ever refinish it then you can look at banding it As we go upstairs to that fifth bedroom, we have these two bedrooms here, both good size, bigger closets. And uh, this one has a king size bed in it, so gives you an idea of the size. There's plenty of space there. Bigger closet. The other one, but definitely a, a smaller closet. And we'll go upstairs. So from the dinette, we go upstairs. To the big room. Also has a king size bed in there. And a day bed. Overlooks the front driveway. Old style TV. There's an ensuite bath with it. Decent sized closet. It's got a mattress in the way, but it comes around. And your standard bathroom with a standard tub, shower. But the ceilings are cathedral in here, so it does give you that extra space. Yeah, I think we hit everything. One thing I notice is, um, go back to the uh, garage here. You have this space here under the stairs, so you can kind of see. The stairs go up here, so on the back side of these stairs, you can open that up. I've done it before, you can open it up and make it extra storage space too, if you need it. Okay, that's it for, uh, Serenity Circle property. I don't see any issues that would be a problem. Maybe the hot water tank. That'd be about it.